Today, I've been working on increasing the contrast between the character and the background. So the ground right here is a lot less saturated and dark than it was, which helps the character pop off the background a little bit. Um, and then instead of darkening the entire interior part of the player's area, I've just lined it with this ring of color. And then instead of applying the ba the um, the ground's color being the team color, which would be pinkish or, or bluish purple here, um, we're applying the opposite of that, which is in this case green. So that also helps the character really pop off the background. That satur that uh, sorry that hue difference. Um, however, let's take a look at um, some before and after pictures here. I still got some work to do here in the contrast department. So here's from uh, last night. This looks pretty good. It's a little more moody, a little darker. Um, but here's what this is. The, and this right here is um, the new version, right? So here's old, here's new. So you can tell that it is a little bit more contrast between the character. You can see, especially here in like these kinds of pixels, we've got some nice darker shading. I, I changed the shading value and the highlight value of the character. Um, I don't want to, I should mention, I, I don't want to go with an outline of pixels. It's not really the uh, aesthetic style that I'm trying to go for. A lot of pixel artists and will go for that look, right? Where you kind of have a darker edge to things like, you know, if this, co this color were nice and dark, um, we would see like, you know, these, these like more like dark outlines, you know? It really wouldn't look this bad. It would look a lot better than that. But um, yeah, maybe I will eventually play with some kind of shader or something like that that would try and do this in a subtle way. But I'm trying to go for a look that is more pure pixel rather than, than a cartoonish outline. Um, so but anyways, anyways. So uh, what can probably happen here to make this better, see, if we turn on this grayscale, you can see that the the character's tone is pretty similar to this background tone over here and that kind of makes them invisible except for their pants which are a lot more invisible here on this darker but then they're more poppy on these lighter bits so um, when we go to, go to this mode we can see that we kind of have a lot more consistent um, ground hue or uh, ground tone and but we have this player's skin is really not popping off this background when you turn off the grayscale you can tell a lot better because we have this this um this contrast of hues that you don't get when you turn off all hue of course so i need to do some more work here to make this better because um with when the player is going to be playing with a, some kind of screen filtering going on like if you have flux and you're or you're a night mode or something like that. It really changes the way. I noticed that last night when I was looking at screenshots of the game. I was like, what the heck? Everything looks all washed out. But it's because, of course, my color uh, nighttime filter mode was on. But that, but some players kind of see that way. Or some people might be, you know, colorblind. Or there's lots of reasons why you need to kind of apply. Like, th think about this. Like, what is your what does your game look like when it's all grayscale? Right? Can you tell the difference between the tones of gray? Because that's pretty important. So anyways, I'm going to experiment with just applying some darker skin and um, maybe just clothes the whole time. That kind of stuff. Of course, every character I'm intending to have armor. But we'll also need to do something here to make the sword pop a little bit more. Um, so yeah, lots to think about still, but moving in the direction of having more contrast um for the character versus the background so thanks for watching this video